Okay, so our next speaker, Joyce, Joyce. from Unity. And so, <laughs> Joyce will no doubt tell you that I arm wrestled her into doing this yesterday. Yes. Uh, <laughs> which I owe her a beer for. Uh, but Unity oh. has a question to ask you. Uh, um, and maybe you have an interesting question, okay. interesting answer to it. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for the introduction. He stole my opening line. I was going to say I was only told about this late last night, so I have no <laughs> slides, which means I will keep this really short. Um, <laughs> essentially, I think uh, Unity is an engine a lot of us are familiar. For those who are not familiar, Unity is well known for being multi-platform, for easy development. We have mostly concentrating on games, but over the years, Unity has been used by many developers in the space outside of entertainment and it's always heartwarming for us to see how far they have taken our engine from a simple game engine to doing in space of education, to simulation, even down to defense projects. Um, so we are very much involved in VR these days. If you see the recent uh, GDC announcements, uh, we even did Vision Summit in the US. Uh, John Riccatello, our CEO, spoke you know, passionately at that. And so we're thinking of doing something in Singapore, uh, primarily a VR workshop. And this is my question. We want to find out if this is something interesting. It's a, going to be a full day workshop hands-on where we will take you through how to develop VR applications, games using Unity and our partners like um, <coughs> Samsung, Oculus, they have made it very easy by integrating into the uh, Unity engine. So it's a simple click and build uh, solution. But what the workshop will take you through is some of the pain points that you will experience and how to navigate around it, uh, what you should look out for, best practices. And there will be coding for those who hate to code and also some code provided for those who want a shortcut. So the nicer you are to our product evangelist, the more codes he provides you. Um, so we haven't have locked down a date yet. We were hoping to do it uh, in conjunction with this event, but Ellen is very enthusiastic and got this running away before I could get my evangelist time. I, I not. did actually ask you a month ago. Yes, but I said June is when he's free. He just came back from <laughs> India, so he doesn't want to talk to me right now. So if I said, let's, I suggested, can we do it today? He said, sure, I'll come to Singapore, I'll burn your chair, and then I'll go for the event. So I think that was a no. Um, so essentially, um, I will put my contact details with Alan or on the Facebook page for this event. For those who are interested, please uh, ping me because it's an invitation-only event completely hosted by Unity. So let us know if you're interested. And I actually have an answer for you on architecture. If you're interested, Unity actually works closely um, to build into 3D uh, walkthroughs in uh, using Unity Engine and a partner that we work very closely with. So there is a solution there for you as well. So other than that, if no questions, I will let you have your evening back. I asked my question. You've got three, three Google Glass to hand out. Okay. <laughs> Any questions? Can I just provide it? Sorry. Hi, guys. Mm. Uh, uh, I, I'm a, personally, I'm a uh, VR game developer, mm. so um, I heard he has this tool uh, using, uh, actually using VR editor uh, mm -hmm. to develop VR games. So, so uh, may I know when uh, is a tool will be released? So right now, you basically, uh, the, the engine right now enables you to build, it just breaks, breaks it into one screen rather than staring into a screen when developing. So, Essentially, you can build into VR right now. All you do is build to port to uh, whichever device you wish to. Um, I'm not technical, let's get that straight first. So actually, if you send me an email, I'll actually get that answer for you by our product evangelist. Anything else? Currently, I know Unity is in version 5.3, mm. and there are more and more game on the device like Sony, Sony VR and Google Lenses coming out. So, is Unity going to be backward compatible as in supporting uh, Unity 4 also supporting all the drivers for all these devices? So I would say Unity 5 would be yeah. where you want to be to build on Unity with VR. 
uh, because there are a lot of changes that had to take place for us to enable VR integration to all the platforms that you mentioned, who are also our very good partners. So yes, you might need to move to five if you haven't um, for this purpose. If not, you will have to, as what the previous speaker Jonathan mentioned, take care of the SDKs on your own. Any questions? Oh wait, cardboard, sorry. The other guy had an assistant. Um, <laughs> come over or I pass them. Yes? So you really introduced the VR where? Mm -hmm. So the software and the to uh, improve the speed and the performance of VR. So you need to plan to integrate the same thing? I need to come back to you. We haven't publicly said anything about that. But if you write me an email, I will answer you. It works quite well, actually. Yeah? I just tried it. You tried it? <laughs> yeah. OK, 3D Cardboard's done. Any more questions? If not, I would post my email address on the page. And for those who are interested to come, please uh, drop me a line, because it's really invitation only. Thank you. Have a good evening.